Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Sophia and Mati on Hot Topics. We are your hosts, Sophia and Mati and we're here to tell you about the latest about trending topics. Today, we will be talking about Coachella and the Met Gala. Yes, yeah, so uh, let's get started with um, the Met Gala. So, who is your favorite look? My favorite look has to be Zendaya. She eats every year. She mm-hmm. assi- understands the assignment yeah. every year. There are some people I was like... Like, I, what are you wearing? Like, I, how does that fit the theme? Like, I thought the theme was garden. Why are you wearing, like... Like, not like the complete opposite of that. Yeah, like, it's like, like, oh, what's his face? Bad Bunny, like, he wore like just like a knitted suit. Yeah, I was like, like, like what do you give us more? And, and right. he was, and he was a co chair, like, he was a host. Oh, yeah. So, like, I expect more from like, yeah, the people that are supposed to be hosting. The it. hosts were like Jennifer Lopez, Chris Hemsworth, Rihanna, Bad Bunny. I think that was it, right? Yeah, and then, like, like, what? Like, what? Yeah, no, I, I, all right, so Doji Cat's outfit. Oh, wait. See, it wasn't bad. I didn't hate it. But Me it too, was I like didn't confused. hate it, but it was like, I was like, she popped out in a towel. She came out in a towel, and then she just started wearing, like, a long, wet, white shirt. Yeah, long, shirt. like, literally, that was the costume. That was her outfit. Like, maybe she was out with the sprinklers. It, you know, like, it was creative. Like, I've never seen that before, but, it like. It is creative. It was, like, I wanted to know more, like, what, Why? I, mm. All right, so I heard, like, the interview that she did with, like, I forgot who, but she was like, oh, I just wanted to do something different, something no one has ever done before. It, I mean, like, she, de- she definitely did do that, though. She did do that. But I, I didn't hate it. People are, like, really hating on it, like, yeah. dragging it to the ground. It wasn't that bad it wasn't that to, bad. Like, be so, like, annoying about it. Like, exactly. Like, it's for no reason. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. I don't. I, like, she normally does eat, but I feel like this year, like, I don't, why? Like, what was that? Yeah. Um, Cardi B came out. With, Cardi like, B came out with her. That was, like, a really cool dress. That was really cool. It was, like, She always big, wears something so cool. Same with Katy Perry. She also yes. had, like, a big, flowery dress. I loved it. And then Lana Del Rey came out with, like, as, like, a little, like, a deer with, like, antlers Oh, and yeah, stuff. that was cool. I feel that like so garden cool. vibes, you know. What else? Uh, Cindy Sweeney had a bob. So, never do that again. Um, so, stick to blonde. Yeah, um, stick to blonde. People thought she was Billie Eilish when she first came out. I thought she Where was, was too. Billie Eilish, first of all? Oh, like, can you get back in the Met She Gala? just didn't show up. Um, yeah. Who else didn't show up? Blake Lively didn't show up. Who was it? Bella Hadid? Like. Oh, yeah. Who are you to just not go? Like, <laughs> Lily, Lily Reinhardt didn't go. Yeah. Oh, Hailey Bieber didn't go. And I, there's theories that she's pregnant. Ooh. I believe that. I believe it. So. I loved. Um. I like. I like what Nicki Minaj did with like the little. Like, Me too. Flower. Like the short dress, the flowers. I thought that was cool too. Yeah. It, it was very on theme, especially since it was garden. Like that's one of the few people I feel mm-hmm. like was really on theme. With yeah. like the whole I don't know garden. what Chris Hemsworth thought he was doing with that suit. Like that was yeah, my garden like, of time. Like, he just wore a beige suit. Like, right. like that what does this have to do? Like go back in the dressing room and get something go on back, that like, theme. Cause that is like the how are you gonna show so up to bad. something that you're hosting and you're not even like showing out like that? Exactly. That's like Rihanna like, Rihanna was showing out. She had like a big dress, like a big thing with like, like vines on it. What are you doing? Compare them two side by side. Like that's like it's it's like you can't compare disappointing them. and i feel like a lot of people were just beige like plain nude yeah like, like if it's garden when you want to wear color it's flowers exactly like. and also like why are you dressing up as the dirt and like the soil do something creative right like, like you know. everyone was dirt like be original Sorry. exactly i can't it was it was not like what i expected it to be mm-hmm. definitely not but i wonder what other people thought about this year's met gala i know uh let's see what they said Hi, it's Lucia, and today we're going to be interviewing people about their favorite Met Gala looks. First, we have Amber. And what was your favorite past Met Gala look? 
My favorite past Met Gala look was probably the 2019 Kylie and Kendall Jenner Met Gala look. Um, that one was really good, but my favorite was from 2023, um, Blake Lively. She did a Statue of Liberty type of dress where it turned from gold to green, um, and that was my favorite. Okay, so the next up we have Alyssa. And what was your favorite past Met Gala look? I loved the 2019 Met Gala, the camp theme. Ezra Miller had like eyes all over their face, and then Kim Kardashian was all wet. I was... It was really great. A really good year. Yes. I like those looks too. All right, that's it for this hallway segment. Now back to you guys on set. Hearing those opinions was so fun to watch and listen to. Right? But anyways, let's move on to our next topic. So Coachella. Ooh, okay. I liked it. Me too. We had Lana Del Rey, Tyler the Creator, and Doja Cat headlining. Mm. We also had like smaller artists. We had also like other people like Sabrina Carpenter. Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Now, I have to say, Ice Spice, from what I've seen, it was super hype. Like, yeah. she did a good job. Yeah. She her stage presence changed so much the, oh from God, when she started to now. Oh, my God, first performance? Like, was it on SNL? Or, I forgot what it was. I think so. No, I think it was at, like, an award show. Yes, and she was, like, she couldn't perform for her life. That was, like, the, the hardest watch. Like, oh, it was so bad. Someone that, like, I get it, you just started, but can't she just, like, start, like, moving a little bit more? Yeah, like, she was just standing there, um, like... Right, she was just, like, standing there, like, her backup dancer were dancing, the clothes yeah. were all ratchet, like... Oh, yeah, and uh, Lana Del Rey, her entrance was so cool, she entered on a oh, motorcycle! Yeah, on a motorcycle. <gasps> that it was, was like, so baby, cool. I'm like, gangsta. Week one, she brought out Billy to sing uh, Ocean that Eyes and video so games. Cool. And that then she brought really out Camila cool. Cabello to sing the new song. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Whenever Lana Del Rey would, like... Oh my god, whenever she was like singing to Camila Cabello, she was like singing, I love it. She was like singing that oh song. Oh my god. <laughs> that was like. I, but it was the way she sang it, it was like, girl. It sounded like Snow White. I was like, what do you I love it, I love it. Like, I like. If I was Camila Cabello, I, I don't know what I would do. I would have been gagged, like, like laughing. Like, oh. She was, she was like red like, and oh. stuff. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know if she, was, she should sing. Yeah, like, like what do you do in that? <laughs> But then Doja Cat, she yeah. brought out ASAP Rocky, 21 Savage, Childish Gambino. Now, I have to say, I didn't see anything about Doja Cat. I feel like everyone was posting Lana Del Rey yeah. that, like, I didn't see a lot about Doja. But, like, from what I've heard, seen, like, the little I did, it looked really good. Yeah, from what I watched. I mean, like, I heard, like, some good stuff about Doja Cat. Yeah, me too. Like, I never heard anything bad about it. So exactly. That's what, so that's good. I heard, like, only good stuff, which is, like, good for a public image. You know mm -hmm. what happened you last year. You know what happened year. last year. Uh, yeah. But, like, you know, she like, building up from that. Exactly. And that's good, you know, like, good job. Good job. You know, applause. She's back. She's found herself. Yeah, she finally found herself. Um, and uh, she came back, and her stage presence was really good. It was, yeah. Um, and, yeah, I just like the outfits and yeah. like the song choices. Me too. She wants to shine some light on her album that didn't exactly. do as well as past albums yeah. due to her public image. Uh, Tyler, the creator, brought out Kelly Uchis. Ooh. And I, ASAP and also Childish Gambino. Is she still pregnant? I don't know. Wait. Does she give birth? I don't know. Maybe she did. Maybe she did. Probably. I she, think probably she probably did, did at this point, I think. Yeah. Like, yeah. she was pregnant for a long time. Honestly, that was iconic bringing her out because, like, that is, like, probably, like, one of his best songs, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I really like that song. So, I know. Good job. Probably, like, one of, like, the best Tyler the Creator songs. I agree. Um... Let's see. Ch oh, Charlie D'Amelio's Coachella outfit. Ooh. Charlie couldn't show us, like, the dance for uh, one song with Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. I can't say the name here, but he couldn't show us that dance. Yeah, she couldn't, she couldn't do the dance. to Coachella but, like that. But she wore a rag with, like, a very see-through rag and only that see-through rag. So, I mean, like, it doesn't add up to me, like, I just don't understand. Put some clothes on. Like, like please. Nobody. Like, I get it. It's Coachella. You're going to show off. You're going to, like, show out. You're going to, like, look all good and stuff. I'm saying Kylie would never, like, Kylie would have never, Kylie would have never done that. Even James Charles' outfit from oh my God. that year. Don't even get me started Even he Charles. would never. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think Tar Yummy is the only one who ate. She had, like, some coquette-looking outfit. Oh, yeah. That one? I, oh I liked it. it. It was so good. It was so good. It was, like, the only thing that gave Coachella, like, yeah. everyone else. Like, Hailey Bieber, why was she wearing jorts and a baggy tee? People are pissing me. People are bothering me because, like, why are they, like, wearing, like, the most basic outfits? Like, I, know. I get it. You want to just, like, 
be comfortable while you're there. You're at Coachella. Exactly. Act like it. Like, 2016, you didn't see people dressing up in like sweatpants and a t-shirt. Like, do people not ca- care anymore? Like, exactly. Like, it's Coachella. Like, that's the one time you can like really show up and show out with your outfit. Mm-hmm. Like, what? I'm I'm disappointed. Yeah. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Uh, but like this year's show, like it was good. Like the performances and stuff were good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, that's all for today's episode of SNM. This has been Sophia. And Matian signing off.